Hi everyone, welcome to Amirpe Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain about how to check the given number is a strong number or not. So first of all, we need to understand what is strong number. It's very simple. Let me explain with one example. If I am taking one number, getting the individual digits factorial, just get the digit, find the factorial is 120. Next again get the digit, find the factorial is 24. Again get the digit is 1 factorial is 1. If you add all these factorials, if you get again 145, that some value is equals to the given number is called strong number. How simple writing the code? See, suppose if I am taking one number, int n is equals to some value I am taking 145. And we need to find the sum value int sum equals to 0. Sum equals to 0. Then after checking that sum is, after finding that, I mean, after declaring the sum equals to 0, now repeating the loop as usual while n not equal to 0. Yes, until the value become 0. Getting each digit, how to get each digit int d equals to n mod n now. After getting the digit, find the factorial for that digit. So, this is factorial logic, very very important. Declare the fact variable here only. If you don't declare here, because for each digit, you need to find the factorial here. Repeating the loop, which factorial we need to find out? N factorial? No, D factorial we are finding. So, in I equals to 1, I less than or equals to D, I plus plus, just we are taking fact equals to, fact is multiplied with I. After this, just what we are doing, we are adding that factorial to the sum, sum equals to sum plus fact, sum equals to sum plus fact. So after finding this one, we are removing that digit by doing n equals to n by 10. So this is the logic, just getting the digit, finding the factorial for that digit, adding that factorial value to the sum and removing that digit. Finally, we are checking after this while loop you need to write if the given number equals to the sum value, then print it is a strong number. Else, print it is not strong number. But see, n value, initially it is 145. By removing the last digit, you make it 14. By removing the last digit, we make it 0. By removing the digit, we make it, I mean, 1, we make it 0. Then how can you compare 0 with the sum? That's why before doing all these things, just store that n value into x. Now n value safe inside the x. Then we are checking that x value with the sum. If the x value and sum value both are equal, yes, it is a strong. Else it is not a strong. So this is how we are checking the given number is a strong number or not. Hope you understood. Please practice all these examples. Thank you.